Now you have finished data collection and it's time to run some analysis on your collected data, assuming that you know the level of measurement for the variables you measured. So um, the first analysis you're going to perform is what's called the exploratory data analysis or EDA for short. And this is really not about a special technique. Rather, it is more of a sort of philosophical approach to data analysis to maximize insight into a data set, uh, which was actively promoted by the American statistician John Tukey in the picture. In a sense, um, the exploratory data analysis is like, um, you know, let the data speak for themselves approach to uncover underlying structure of data and to extract important variables and also to detect anomalies or unusual data. And EDA is to also test underlying assumptions and ultimately to maximize um, insight. Um, into the data by placing them in multiple different perspectives. So EDA is a kind of a more direct way to analyze data by rearranging, reorganizing, visualizing, and summarizing them in as many different ways as possible. So there are a number of different ways to explore data. In fact, the very first thing you need to uh, do when you have the uh, raw data is to sort and count, which are now almost completely forgotten steps in the age of computers. However, we should remember that this is the very beginning of any analysis. If you have large data set, then many times divided into several groups can be useful to find out you know, what's going on. So grouping can be another way to explore data. Uh, better yet, um, displaying and visualization is at the heart of the EDA because a picture can be a very effective medium to get the message across when it, uh, when it is drawn correctly. And we will have a chance to talk more about those visualization in more detail as we go along. And finally, we can summarize data with a couple of numbers that represent the center of the data set and how much overall spread there is from the center in the data set, which are called measures of central tendency and of dispersion. 